is Juliet Cuthbert, and you're watching Predis. One of the most beautiful parks right here in Jamaica. This is Emancipation Park. My name is Kazmar, and welcome to another week of your favorite television show right here. It's Predis. Now, for the next half an hour, we have the latest in entertainment, news, gossip. It's Predis, and without further delay, it starts right now. All right, pre-this, the finalist in the Miss Jamaica World beauty pageant recently competed in the Miss Jamaica World model fast track competition and Maya Wilkinson was the winner. Now, pre-this was at the event which took place at Club Privilege in New Kingston. Let's see the highlights, pre-this. A Miss Ocean Spray Water and a Miss Ocean Spray, who we are rooting for all the way. How has the association been going so far? Well, it's been good. I mean, I think they've been doing a lot of new things this year. Um, a new type of uh, themed shoot, and they're getting more involved. All different types of activities over the next course of, I would say, the next four weeks or so. First of all, I already know that both of my girls are going to be in the top ten. <laughs> That's like, goes without saying. Which one of them may win tonight, I can't really say, but I know that in the long run, if they win a fast track competition or not, that they're definitely going to be in the top ten. Ocean Spray is one of those products that we say make you beautiful from the inside out. So we work on your insides, and with that, of course, it's mind, body, and spirit that we think really completes a person. So something like this pageant where that also celebrates the outside and the beauty of women who we particularly you know we speak to a lot we have a lot of benefits for women so you know it's always great to support these type of events that you know it's, it's like you said it's all about the lifestyle Okay, she represented Jamaica in many international track meets as well as the Olympics. These days, former Olympian and silver medalist Julia Cuthbert is focusing on her fitness gym center. We caught up with her recently and she spoke to us about her career in athletics, her life and her future business ventures. Now let's head on over to Julia Cuthbert and this segment was brought to you by Water Sport. Check it out. Hi, my name is Julia Cuthbert. And you're going to find out a little bit more about me. So, walk into the studio, Cuthbert's Fitness Studio, and I'll tell you some more. Come. My interest in track and field started at a very young age, um, from primary school days. Uh, of course, you know everybody in Jamaica runs track, and you have to take part in you know, some sort of a you know, track and field event in primary school and that's where it all started for me. Going on from there went to high school, Moran Bay High School and um, from there I made my first Olympic team at age 16 and um, then I migrated and I continued competing for Jamaica. Mm -hmm. 
I would probably be a nurse, but then I'm really a dunce when it comes to science, so I don't know how I was gonna make that. <laughs> so I'm actually glad that I chose this field or this field chose me, but I love nursing and I love that field, so I'd probably be a nurse. Well, the highlight of my career has to be Barcelona. Barcelona in 1992, I got two Olympic silver medals. That was the best thing that ever happened to me, I think, in track and field. And um, that was the highlight of my entire career. I don't condone taking drugs at all. And I can personally say that I'm so happy that I can sleep well at night knowing that those two Olympic silver medals were done drug free. And it's really a good feeling. You see a lot of athletes and, you know, they see them on the podium and they're crying after getting the medal, the, the gold medal or whatever medal. And then a few years later, you hear that they were possibly doing something. It is annoying to me. I think they should be banned for life. I'm a very boring person. <laughs> People may think Juliet Cuthbert boring, the person that I know boring because I'm fun, I'm fun loving and it's, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm very easy going. But I think my home is my castle. I love being at home. I love spending time with, um, my, my immediate family is not here. My mom, my sister, my brother, they're not here. They live in the United States. And my son, my adorable son lives in Miami. Um, but I have a, I have a boyfriend. And so I love spending time with him. And you might find this really weird. They think I'm weird. I talk about my cats all the time. I have two cats, they're my children. And I love going home and spending time, just being at home, having a glass of wine, sitting, my work days are very long, and just really enjoying me. I really love fitness and, and, and I really love how the body works. And I thought it was a perfect fit if I was going to come back to Jamaica to actually do something in that field. And um, a few years after moving back, I decided, hmm, the time is right. And um, I had a job working with Arnett Gardens football, football Club. I was a fitness trainer there and I really enjoyed it. At the same time, it was about the time that I'd opened my gym. And it has grown and I love my job. Is oral sex safe sex? No, you still need to protect yourself. Well, guess what? This is our Rough Rider Safe Sex Tip of the Week, and Juliet Cuthbert is going to be giving us the lowdown on what safe sex is all about. Remember, always use a Rough Rider condom and ride rough, ride safe, even if you're going to practice in oral sex. All the ladies and wake up now, man. Check it out. Safe sex, well, especially now in this day and age when you have so many things happening. Are going around I think it's very important to use a condom always use a condom you don't know the person um, you just meet someone use a condom it doesn't matter how they look because you can't tell what's happening with that person so I highly strongly suggest that condom is the best way to go until you get to know the person of course both of you can then take other measures and you do you know, different um, sexually transmitted disease tests to see if you want to go take the other, the next step. I highly, strongly suggest to protect yourself. Now, if you're just joining in, we're here at Emancipation Park in New Kingston. I have Jordan here with me. You know, she's a rough rider girl. She called herself, you know. So, Jordan, introduce yourself to Predis. What's going on? Hi, I'm Jordan Ashley Spencer. I'm the Rough Rider Girl, and this is the party you need to be at, Renaissance. Okay, so now Renaissance, come on, walk with me, man. Renaissance having their 22nd anniversary. It's going on August 20 at the Cold Wharf. Now, tell us a little about it. Why should people, why should we get up and spend our money and come to Renaissance party? Okay, I believe that you should be at Renaissance party, not because it's going to be the best party of the year, but it's the party where Rough Rider Girls are going to be. We're going to have our tent where you can come and get your condoms. You know, we'll have to promote the safe sex, the best way to go, ride rough, but ride slow. 
okay so now when we get when we're getting condoms at parties like this is it are you guys trying to tell us that we can go ahead and have sex in these parties no we're not telling you that you know but what happened is you know after the party and you get a little drunk and a little tipsy <laughs> probably you're going to want to do a little thing you know <laughs> so we're going to have the condoms there ready for you so don't worry rough rider girls are here for you no talk to us about the booth because i know that rough riders are always come out with the booth and you know represent now what's going to be different about the booth this year Okay, the booth. We're going to have different chairs. If you're you're uncomfortable at the party, we're going to have everything there for you. We're going to satisfy your every need. We're even going to give you drinks. Can you believe it? Rough Rider giving you drinks. We're going to be there for you. You have to be there because it's going to be the party of the year. Now, it's something that I want to know. Are all Rough Rider condoms studied? Yes, all of them. All right, now, Jordan, and speaking of events, let's check out our Wrigley's 5 previous events calendar. You know, if you want to know which event you have to go to, if you want to know what's hot and what's popping and what's going on, Check out the events calendar right here on Predis. Do you have anything to say? Yeah, big up to my friends, big up to everybody. You know, Renaissance. Renaissance is the place to be. Be there. All right, cool. Check out the calendar. Yeah, man, we're chilling at the Emancipation Park right here in New Kingston. It's time for us to take our first commercial break. But don't worry, more predis is coming up right after this. Stay tuned.